Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad to release my first ever video on community medicine. Let's start this series from epidemiology. This video is about an introduction to epidemiology. Trust me, this series is gonna be lit and I'll be clearing all the tough concepts in PSM. So why don't we start off things right now. Welcome to MedBits Made Simple. Please do me and yourself a favor by pressing the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you can keep watching all my medical videos for free. By the end of this video, you should be able to answer about the definition of epidemiology, its components, aims of epidemiology, uses of epidemiology, measurements in epidemiology and tools used in the measurement in epidemiology. All these are potential questions in your theory exam as well as in VIVA as well as in entrance exams. So uh, let's, let us break down the definition of epidemiology to make it easy for everyone. So epidemiology is the study of distribution and determinants. Case of what? Of health related states or events like deaths, births, etc. Or distribution of uh, diseases in a population, etc. Okay, so in whom? In specified populations. For example, we consider target population and we carry out study in them. Okay, so what are we doing here? We are carrying out study of uh, distribution and determinants of health related states or events like uh, distribution of diseases, um, a specific disease in a specific population, target population. And with the help of this study, uh, what we do is that uh, we try to control the health problems which we found out uh, from the study results. Okay, so in that particular population, by various strategies uh, like formulating health programs. So putting all these things together, definition of epidemiology is so freaking simple. It is the study of distribution and determinants of health-related states or events in specified populations, and the application of this study. To the control of health problems. It's important to know the person who formulated this definition for epidemiology is Mr. John M. Last. Okay, so it's important to remember his name. Uh, the three main components of epidemiology are the first component, uh, epidemiology deals with study of disease frequency. So frequency uh, is usually expressed in rates and ratios. That's what uh, most of the epidemiology is all about. So the rates and ratios are used to identify disease frequency in a population and this data which we calculate okay the frequency of the disease in that population this data can be compared with uh, the other states uh, the neighboring states or other states or countries and based on uh, this data the health programs can be made and the um, the diseases can be controlled and the health of the population target population can be improved Okay, so that's the important of study, importance of studying disease frequency. So you must remember that uh, disease frequency is usually expressed in rates and ratios. That's the most important point here. Other things you can just uh, recollect by watching this video again. Uh, so the second most important component of epidemiology is the study of distribution of disease. So it's important to know that the diseases are usually distributed in specific patterns in a population. In specific groups of people. Uh, people in a population are uh, usually in, uh, involved with some diseases maybe because they have specific risk factors and all that okay so it's important to remember that the diseases are usually uh, distributed in specific patterns in a population and this pattern of distribution might give us a clue on what the possible uh, cause or risk factor can be okay so with the help of this clue what do we do is that we will generate hypothesis uh, um, will generate hypothesis uh, as what the possible cause of this condition in these people will be. Uh, this type of epidemiological epidemiology where we generate hypothesis or formulate hypothesis is called as descriptive epidemiology. So, uh, uh, so far we have seen two important components of epidemiology uh, that is disease frequency deals with distribution of disease and the most important component of epidemiology is, uh, is about determinants of disease. This is one of the uh, one of the most important components of epidemiology. So this um, component, uh, the determinants of disease, deals with identifying the causes or risk factors of the disease. Now, what we are doing here is that uh, when we studied about the distribution of disease, we made a hypothesis uh, about uh, the possible risk factors or causes for. Uh, the condition in that population. Now, what do we do in identifying the determinants of disease is that we identify the exact cause or risk factor. 
here we are not uh, dealing with hypothesis anymore here we are confirming the hypothesis by carrying out more specific studies and here we are identifying the uh, exact cost of uh, cause for the disease in that population and we sort it out okay so that is about the determinants of disease so this type of epidemiology where we confirm the um, uh, hypothesis and identify the exact uh, exact cause or risk factor is called as analytical epidemiology so now let's talk about the aims of epidemiology there are three main aims of epidemiology the first aim is to describe the distribution and magnitude of health and disease problems in human populations so by carrying out studies in the uh, 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 population what we do is that we'll uh, identify the distribution and the magnitude of health and disease problems in human population by doing that we'll be able to uh, get an idea of the important diseases in that particular community and the, the people the people the groups of people who are uh, affected by that disease so it will give us an idea about um, the health of that particular population the second most important aim of epidemiology is to identify etiological factors in the pathogenesis of disease by identifying the etiological factors we'll be, a we'll be able to um, prevent or uh, reduce the etiological factors in that community uh, by doing so we'll be able to control the disease uh, caused by those etiological factors in that community. The third most important aim of epidemiology is to provide the data. Okay, so we did studies, right? Um, we did studies for, uh, in that uh, population and uh, we, we have got some data. So we provide this data, which is essential to the planning, implementation, and evaluation of services, basically health services, for the prevention, control, and treatment of disease and to the setting up of priorities among those services. So the uses of epidemiology, there are seven uses of epidemiology which has been described by Morris and we'll see the uses of epidemiology. The first use is to study historically the rise and fall of disease in the population. It also helps in community diagnosis. When we carry out uh, uh, studies in community about uh, the distribution of diseases and the people who are affected we'll be able to identify uh, multiple cases in the community and we'll be able to uh, identify the etiological factor more easily and planning and evaluation uh, is also uh, possible with the help of epidemiology we'll be able to uh, create specific health plans for a particular community based on the uh, problems which are present in that community and evaluation of individuals risks and chances is uh, done with the help of uh, epidemiology so for example uh, with the help of epidemiology people were able to identify that smoking um, is a particular risk factor a specific risk factor for lung cancer syndrome identification epidemiological studies actually uh, be found to be helpful in uh, redefining uh, the syndrome and it also helps in completing, completing the natural history of disease. So with the help of uh, uh, studies in community, what we can do is that uh, we'll be able to get a better idea about the agent, host and environmental factors which are responsible for causing the disease. The last use of epidemiology which is mentioned by Morris is searching for causes and risk factors. With the help of epidemiological studies, we'll be able to um, identify causes and risk factors of various diseases. The various measurements which are done in epidemiology are uh, the mortality, morbidity, disability, natality, medical needs, uh, healthcare facilities, utilization of health services, measurement of demographic variables. So these are some of the things which are uh, being measured with the help of epidemiological studies. So uh, the tools, the basic tools which are used in the measurement in epidemiology are rates, ratios and proportions. So the about rates, uh, the rates actually measures the occurrence of some event in a population in a given time period. Uh, numer the numerator in rates is actually a component of denominator. So this is one differentiating point from ratios. So example for rates are death rate. So for example, in death rate, what we do is that we calculate the number of deaths occurring in a population in a given period of time. 
So that is what is actually rates. So it measures the occurrence of some event in a population, for example, death or birth in a given time period. Okay, so that is about rates. So these are some, some of the important things about rates. About ratios, ratios actually expresses a relation in size between two random quantities. Uh, numerator is not a component of denominator in case of ratios, whereas in rates we saw the numerator is a component of denominator. Now what uh, this tells us is that uh, the numerator and denominator are entirely different things. So for example, sex ratio, we compare male is to female uh, ratio and these two are entirely different uh, quantities. Uh, so we are comparing, we are making a ratio out of two different quantities. So the numerator and denominator are obviously different. It's actually easy to remember. So the third important tool in epidemiology is proportion. Proportion is actually a ratio, but the difference here is that this is a ratio, but the numerator is a part of denominator. So for example, 40 out of 100 people in a class are absent, we'd be saying 40% of the people are absent. So that's the proportion of the, uh, uh, proportion of the people who are absent in that class. So it is a magnitude of a part of the whole. So 100 people in that class is the whole um, population and the proportion of the people who are absent, that is the 40 people, is a part of the whole. It is expressed in percentage like I mentioned. So this uh, video is basically a level 1 video explaining the basic concepts. So you have to watch this video multiple times to uh, get it deep inside your brain. And you have to revise these topics from Park's textbook, so textbook of Preventive and Social Medicine. This, you can help you to make more videos by donating on Patreon by clicking on the link in the description. Also on the link, link which you can see on the screen right now. And make sure to like, share and subscribe uh, to my channel for more PSM videos and other, other videos. And comment below to let me know what videos you want me to make. And yeah, don't forget to check out our merch. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.